Hey everyone, it is Half High here, bringing another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We are going to be compiling a top 10 unreleased units list for Dokkan Battle. Now what I mean by this is there are units right now in the game that have card art, that have uh, sprites, that you can actually fight against. Most of these are actually boss battles that you're actually doing uh, within the game, but for some apparent reason, Dokkan does not want to release a usable card, whether it's a rare, a SR, SSR, even above, that we can summon for or even grind for, and it doesn't make any sense to me. So these are my top 10 unreleased units that should be released in Dokkan Battle. So if you guys are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff, and always a shout out to DBZ Space and the Dokkan Wiki for images provided. So coming in at number 10 is... Abocado. Now, Abocado, if you guys don't remember, is from the Yo Son Goku and Friends special. He is the final boss. He actually fuses from um, two other units that are actually still also in the game, is Abo and Kado. So these two units here uh, that you actually do fight within the game uh, in that special storyline event, uh, he does merge into Abocado, and I think this unit is worth something to look at. Now, we don't have many, if at all, any fusion uh, villains or fusion extreme units, and I think this could be, you know, fit into maybe that group. Also, uh, another movie boss that you can uh, go. Now, this is a special, so I don't know if they will put them in a movie boss. It's a special versus maybe a movie. Uh, but anyway, I think this is still a uh, interesting unit and a unit that we can all use once again, whether free to play or summonable. I think Abocado deserves uh, to be released. So coming in at number nine, number nine is kind of also another fusion unit. Now this is uh, Analaza from uh, Universe 3. It's all the units, uh, those characters coming together. If you don't remember from Dragon Ball Super, uh, Universe 7 had to com come all together to defeat this, uh, this character here. And uh, it is a very powerful character. Now he does um, transform a little bit something stronger from this form here kind of that butterfly looking thing and uh, but yeah I think this unit also is another deserving unit from the tournament of power that uh, you know a lot of these units end up not being released for some some odd apparent reason uh, maybe they do have this planned and I'm hoping that these units will get released but you know Annie Laza for sure is a unit that would be definitely useful in the extreme side of things so that's coming in at number nine coming in at number eight again I guess this is you know well this is uh, you know part of tournament of power but um, I guess I am gonna you know, cover quite a bit of tournament of power unreleased uh, units here but this is the trio day dangers trio of dangers here uh, coming at number eight now Bergamo is released in the game there is a physical version of Bergamo uh, but basil and lavender lavender um, is not released and these two units are you know this is the card art this is within the game and I think uh, combining them into one unit maybe a free-to-play LR or just a TUR with three units uh, you know on there you know the sprites Bergamo super attack actually have the sprites for uh, basil and lavender here so once again uh, I would combine them all together if you guys don't want to release you know basil and lavender as their own unit Combine them together, I think we will all summon for, for this unit if there, it feels pretty decent. So, coming in at number 8 is the Trio of Dangers. Number 7. Now, number 7 is Kid Gohan. You might go, well, there's a ton of Kid Gohans. True, but this is a really uh, unique card that uh, has amazing card art. But, for some odd reason, Gohan doesn't have a transforming giant ape, great ape unit. Uh, I think he's the only Saiyan... Uh, that comes to mind except for maybe Tarble, but we've never actually seen Tarble go into uh, Great Ape uh, and maybe possibly the new Broly, but uh, but ones that we actually seen the Great Ape transformation Kid Gohan's the only one that doesn't have a, uh, a unit, so uh, I would say definitely release this unit uh, for the Great Apes uh, even though we might not use those, I think this is still a unit why not? The card art looks cool, uh, looks great there and uh, I don't know why some of these units aren't released. And I think Kit Gohan, Great Ape, Giant Ape, whatever you want to call it, is something uh, that we should definitely root for in this unit coming out. So coming in at number six, 
Number six is actually a funny unit here. Uh, I saw the card, I go, this looks really, really cool. I don't know where you would place him uh, and, and how he would be used. It's the Possessed Master Roshi. Now, where is this card art from? It's actually from uh, the Dragon Ball Super Series of when Yurin, a far former Crane School student, uh, actually uses her witchcraft to possess Master Roshi. And... Uh, it was actually very interesting of a fight where Goku was trying to fight Master Roshi, but Master Roshi was actually uh, holding his own because of this in, in this form here. He was like almost at full power in a sense, uh, and, you know, kind of like a Majin Vegeta uh, unleashing his inner evil energy and uh, was holding his own against Goku. But I love this card art. This card art looks really, really cool. And uh, I would love this unit to be an extreme Master Roshi be very interesting unit to actually have in the game so definitely release this unit if you can uh, Dokkan because I think it's really really cool so now let's look at then the top five top five unreleased units in Dokkan in my opinion coming in at number five is the Namekians from universe six now uh, I could easily put these maybe lower but the reasons why I think this is definitely top five is because the Namekians category needs help. Now, they did come out with a new King Piccolo, but uh, uh, Pirina, I think it's uh, Pirina, uh, and Saunel, I don't know if I'm pronouncing those names correctly. These are the two um, characters from Universe 6 that were the Namekians, and uh, Pirina is the one that merged everybody together. All the Namekians fused into him. And uh, he should have been way more powerful than actually he was. Um, so that's that's another discussion when it comes to Dragon Ball Super and the rush job they did with the Tournament of Power. Um, even though it was very long. But certain characters like this should have got a little bit more time to shine. So definitely I would love these units to be in the Namekian uh, category to buff up that team. And uh, and using uh, Parina as the... Uh, um, fused state of all these Namekians, I would think he would be very, very powerful. And I think the card art looks really good. Like all the all these here, uh, these units that I am gonna be showing, the card art looks really nice. So that is the number five is the Namekians, uh, Perina and uh, Sao now. I, once again, I'm butchering their names, but um, I think those are units definitely that need to be released uh, in Dokkan Battle. All right, coming in number four. Number four is an obvious one. King Kai. How does King Kai not have a unit? Uh, well, there's a lot of characters that don't have a unit, but once again, the card art is here. It's there already. Bring him in as a rare unit. Bring him in as a SR or something. I think King Kai, King Kai deserves a card, maybe as a support unit. You know, they just recently did that uh, Trunks, uh, that uh, Super Saiyan GT Trunks as a great support unit. Why not have King Kai as a support unit? You know, a little Realm of Gods action, something like that. I think it would be uh, really good for, you know, the past teacher of Goku, you know, the master of jokes, the king of comedians in King Kai deserves a card to be released. So that is King Kai there. Coming in at uh, number three is, everybody says this, you know, while I'm streaming or on my channel is, what LR do you guys want? Mr. Popo, Mr. Popo, Mr. Popo. Mr. Popo has card art in the game. As you can see right there. Now it's old school card art. As you can tell, it's like the rare. It's you know the effects on the uh, on on the uh, card there. It's just it's like I think rare or neutral. But they have never released this unit. They were never released this card for it to be summonable or to be usable. And I think you know Mr. Popo does deserve a usable unit, and that is definitely number three because so many people just want him to be even an LR, which is never going to happen, I don't think. Uh, but Mr. Popo definitely deserves a unit that is usable and released. So, all right, final two. So number two is based off of actually the card art, and I go, this needs to be summonable or playable is because if we don't get an LR of this guy why not give us tacos Krillin yeah everybody wants an LR of Krillin we know that we're not getting that anytime soon it seems like but when I saw the card art here I was like dude tacos Krillin this is an amazing um, uh, art and amazing unit that a ton of people would summon for uh, because of the look of it he has the hair uh, this is the time when um, 
when Krillin was in Dragon Ball Super, he asked Goku to punch him in the in the face. <laughs> so that's that time here wearing the taco shirt. And uh, yeah, dude, I would spend some Dragon Stones for Taco's Krillin. Uh, I don't know if you guys agree, but that is my number two. I know it's weird. It, yeah, some of you guys might drop it lower, but definitely number two on my list, Tacos Krillin. Coming in number one, it is no surprise that what number one is is what everybody wants, and we're all surprised that it wasn't um, dropped when the Jiren unit came out, and that is the full power Jiren uh, because we had an EZA event with this, right? We figured, oh, is this going to be a free-to-play unit? Um, this is the SSR. Okay, this is the SSR art, and then it actually TURs into full power Jiren, the TUR. You can just kind of tell between the two here. Um, and uh, once again, a big surprise that we are not getting this card, or we did not get this card uh, right away. But I guess they're waiting for a mastered UI and a full power Jiren dual dual confess or something of that nature. Hopefully that comes pretty soon. We've been waiting for it, but it is unreleased, and the card art has been in the game. Um, since the EZA event came out and I think we definitely deserve and this is probably the most likely unit that will be coming out uh, because the card art is so fantastic and makes total sense that there is that EZA event with uh, with full power Jiren so that is the list let's do a quick recap <clears throat> come in at number 10 Avocado come in number 9 Annalisa come in number 8 or Annalaza come in number 8 the trio of dangers number 7 Kid Gohan, the giant ape form there, come in number six, the possessed Master Roshi, number five, uh, the Namekians, Purina and Saonel. Uh, King Kai, number four, and filling out the top three, you have Mr. Popo, Taco's Krillin, and number one, Full Power Jiren. So if you agree with my list, feel free to comment below or disagree. Let me know uh, in the comments. And uh, anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, share. Um, but thank you guys for watching. So, and uh, yeah, keep on doconing, and we will catch you next time.